Watch, Trump's chief of staff issues urgent message to Americans. The White House chief of staff John Kelly gave a moving tribute during a recent press conference. According to the Washington Free Beacon, Kelly commended our nation's youth for serving in the military, you know, when I was a kid, every man in my life was a veteran. World War II, Korea, and there was a draft. These young people today, they don't do it for any other reason than their selfless sense of selfless devotion to this great nation. He closed by saying, we don't look down upon those of you that haven't served. In fact, in a way, we're a little bit sorry. Because you will never experience the wonderful joy you get in your heart when you do the kind of things our servicemen and women do. Not for any other reason than they love this country. Just think of that. And I do appreciate your time. According to the Daily Wire, Kelly's press conference was filled with raw emotions as he shared his thoughts on military veterans and expressed his displeasure with Rep. Wilson, DFL, for attacking President Trump's phone call to a grieving widow of a fallen soldier. The New York Times reports that the widow of Sergeant Law David T. Johnson was riding in a car with Rep. Wilson when President Trump called to offer his condolences. Wilson then publicly criticized Trump for insensitivity when he allegedly said during the phone call that Johnson knew what he signed up for. Kelly strongly rebuked Wilson's words, saying that the president was conveying to the widow that soldiers, like Johnson, were doing what they loved, and knew there was a chance they would die for their country, but chose to serve anyway. He used the example of his own son's death while serving his country to iterate this point. He said the military official who informed him of the death said his son was doing exactly what he wanted to do when he was killed. He knew what he was getting into by joining that 1%. He knew what the possibilities were because we were at war. Kelly lamented that Wilson would listen in on a private phone call take such a sensitive moment and use it to score political points by attacking Trump, stating, It stuns me that a member of Congress would have listened in on that conversation, absolutely stuns me. He went on to criticize a society that holds little respect for the men and women who give their all to protect their freedoms, saying, Most of you as Americans don't know them. There's nothing in our country anymore that seems to suggest that selfless service to the nation is not only appropriate but required. General Kelly told reporters that those who enlist today do so out of a selfless desire to serve. Do you agree? Given the national anthem protests by NFL players and their defenders, it would seem that many Americans take the freedoms they enjoy for granted while failing to acknowledge all that the military has done for them. The people who criticize and disrespect the military really have no clue of the sacrifices these brave men and women, and their families, are making to defend the rights of those who criticize and disrespect them. Perhaps Kelly's words can remind everyone that those serving in the military deserve our love and respect. The death of a soldier is not to be used as a political club to wield in public, but it should be a sacred moment. Their service is something that should be honored and respected, respected.